This is a deck review for David Blaine's Red Gatorbacks. This is an especially rare deck. Only 1,000 were made available, and they sold out last week on his website within three minutes. As you can see, the difference here is the cards are red, and the stamp here is also red, unlike the previous two decks, which had black and silver. Now let's take a look at the cards. The backs of these cards use red metallic ink. Let me see if I can get a good shot of that for you. So you can see how it kind of changes when you tilt it around. The backs of the cards. The fronts of the cards look largely the same, except of course the Ace of Spades. The court cards use metallic inks, just like the Green Gatorbacks deck. The extra cards include two red jokers the same strange artwork card as in the previous two decks. The last card I was surprised to find out is not a blank face card like the other decks, but it's a new one. It's got a, uh, I guess this is David Blaine, and he's dropping cards off the deck, and the spade is maybe turning into a fish over here. And then up here in the top we've got an electric eel swimming through the sockets of his skull, just like normal. The standard cards are exactly like in the green Gatorbacks deck. As are the court cards, which I'll go through in quick succession here. Pretty much all the same. Of course, except for the Ace of Spades, which has a different color. The cards were printed by the United States Playing Card Company on casino grade cardstock. Cards have a nice substantial feel to them and a good spring. The way the cards were cut, they fare more easily face down in the hands, like so. of all the cards next to each other.
So in summary, I really like this deck, no big surprise there. The cardstock feels good, it's got a nice back design, and it comes in Tamari's stack, just like the other two Gatorbacks. It's probably my favorite of the three because of the red metallic ink. And that's all for this time.